Hi there, my name is Mark Anthony, and I'm a member of the Data School New York's DSNY6 cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a three layer map drill down. This will let you dynamically change the focus level of your map using dynamic zone visibility. So let's get right into it and get started. The first thing we'll do is create a sheet called population by state. And we'll add the official USPS state code and the population into the details card. Make sure that the marks are type map so that the marks are filling up the entire state. To keep track of the states, we'll also add the official state name. Next, we'll create a sheet called population by county. We'll add the official county code as well as the official county name. We also add in the population into the detail and make sure, again, that the mark type is map. This data set does not have all the counties and the zip codes, but that is fine for our purposes. Next, we create a new sheet called population by postcode. This is where you will put the postcode or zip code into the details card as well as the population into the details card. Now that we have our sheets, the next thing we need to do is create our drill down. The first thing in our drill down we we'll need to do is be able to reset the parameters we'll eventually make to blank. That means we have to import into the parameters a blank field. And in order to do that, we can create a calculated field. And I call it blank, which we'll use quote and quote with no space in between. The next thing we'll do is create a state parameter. If you're following along, you can pause the video at any time. This state parameter will be a string type with no current value. The same thing we will do for the county parameter. Now, we'll need to be able to determine which level of the drill down that we're on at any time. In order to do that, we'll need a few calculated fields. The first one is at the state level. When we're at the state level, the state parameter will be blank and the county parameter will be blank, meaning that we haven't chosen a state or a county. For the county level, the state level will be false and the county parameter will be blank. And in the postcode level, the state level will be false and the county level will be false. Now that we're able to determine where we are in the drill down at any time, we need to filter the subsequent sheets depending on the state and or county that was chosen in sheet before it. In order to do that, we will add two more calculated fields. The first one is state filter. This is saying that we have to check for the state name and if it matches the chosen state in our parameter. The same for the county filter. Now that we have those filters, let's start putting them into the sheets. In the postcode sheet, let's take the county filter, place it into the filters tab, select false and exclude. You may see true in this section and that's fine. If you do, all you would need to do is check the true, do not click exclude and then click okay. What we're telling Tableau is that in this sheet, when a county is selected, if it does not match the county that's in the database, do not use it. If it does match the county that's in the database, then show that one. We click OK. We move over to the county, and we'll do the same thing, but with the state filter. We place it in the filters card. We click false, then exclude, and then OK. It's OK if both of your sheets have disappeared. This is just saying that when something is chosen, only show what that was chosen. So for the county sheet, if a state is chosen, only show the counties in that state, and in the postcode sheet, only show the postcodes within that county. Now let's go to the dashboard. Dynamic visibility only works within a container. So we'll need to place a container within here. You can use a vertical or a horizontal container and just make sure that all the sheets are within the same container. 
In this example, it has already been done so, but you can hide the titles of your sheets by right clicking on the titles and click hide title. Now for each sheet, make sure that it is controlling the visibility. And we can do that by going on each particular sheet that's in your dashboard, then going to layout, control visibility using value, and clicking the respective calculated field. So in the population by state, we wanted to control the state level. In a population by county, we wanted to control the county level. And in the population by postcode, we wanted to control the postcode level calculated field. I have the parameters showing here, just to make sure so we can see the parameters change while we go through the drill down. The last thing that we would need is to form those actions. These will determine what you click and what parameters are updated. So we go into actions. All the different actions we're making will be an update parameter action. The first one is updating the state parameter. We want that to be controlled by the population by state sheet, and we want it to change it using the official state name field. The same thing for the county sheet. We want the county sheet to control the county parameter, and we want it to update it with the county name. Now in the final level, the postcode, we want it to get back to the top level, which is a population by sheet. This is where the blank calculator field comes in handy. This is where we're able to place in an empty field into those parameters. So we want the population by postcode sheet controlling the state parameter, and it's sending a blank. The same thing before the county. This will be the postcode sheet also making the county parameter blank as well, which will effectively take us back to the starting point. Now that we have our actions, when we click on a particular state, that is gonna tell the action to update the state parameter with the state that you've chosen. And it will switch us over to the next sheet, which is the county sheet. And that sheet will be filtered by the filter you make by the state that you've chosen. And then when you click a county within that state, it will move to the postcode sheet, but filtered only within that county. So for example, if we click on Texas, it'll take us to the counties in Texas that are within this database. And then we click on a particular county, such as Dickens. And then it'll take us to the postcode sheet with all the zip codes within that county. We can hide that title there. And then also, when we click on the postcode, it will take us back to the main sheet. And now you know how to do drill downs. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in using map drill downs using dynamic zone visibility. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you may find useful, such as Adam Kriebel's videos. If you like this video, press the thumbs up button and click subscribe to get notified when we release new videos.